Have you ever wondered how the rich keep getting richer? It's not just a stroke of luck or inheritance, the answer lies in the power of investing, a critical tool for wealth accumulation. In a world where money never sleeps, being strategic about where and when to invest can make a world of difference. This is where investment strategies come into play, serving as a compass in the vast sea of financial opportunities. Today, we unravel the secrets of wealth investment strategies. Investing at its core is about putting your money to work. It's about making your hard-earned cash generate additional income for you, allowing your wealth to grow over time. But what does this really mean? Think of it like this. Each dollar you possess is like a miniature worker. While you're sleeping, eating, or enjoying your favorite pastime, your money is out there laboring tirelessly to produce even more money. That's the beauty of investing. Now, you might be wondering why we emphasize starting early. The answer lies in the magic of compounding. Imagine a snowball rolling down a hill. It starts small, but as it rolls, it collects more and more snow, growing exponentially. This is the same principle with investing. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow to compound. Your investments yield returns, which are then reinvested, yielding even more returns. It's a virtuous cycle that can significantly expand your wealth over time. However, it's crucial to understand the difference between saving and investing. Saving is all about preserving your money for future use. It's safe, it's secure, but it's also limited. Your money sits idly in a bank account, earning minimal interest. Investing, on the other hand, is about making your money multiply. Yes, it comes with risks, but it also comes with potentially higher returns. It's the difference between keeping your money under a mattress and sending it out into the world to seek fortune. To illustrate, let's consider an example. If you save $100 a month for 30 years with an annual interest of 1%, you'll end up with around $40,000. Not bad, right? But if you invest that same amount at an average annual return of 7%, you'll have over $100,000. That's more than double the amount. In essence, saving can help you build a safety net, but investing can help you build wealth. And in the grand scheme of things, building wealth is how you achieve financial freedom. In order to grow your wealth, you need to invest, not just save. Ever heard of the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket? It's a common phrase, isn't it? But have you ever considered its relevance in the world of investing? Well, that's exactly what we're going to delve into next. We're talking about diversification. It's one of the first strategies most investors learn, and for good reason. Diversification is essentially the practice of spreading your investments across various types of assets, sectors, or geographical regions. Imagine an investor as a chef and their portfolio as a well-rounded meal. You wouldn't want a plate full of just one ingredient, would you? Similarly, an investor wouldn't want a portfolio full of just one type of asset. Let's put this into perspective with a simple example. Consider you have $100 to invest. Instead of investing all of it in a single company's stock, you could spread it across five different stocks, each from a different sector. Now, if one sector experiences a downturn, only a portion of your investment is affected. Meanwhile, the other sectors could still be performing well, offsetting your losses. That's the beauty of diversification, but why diversify? The benefits are twofold. First, it reduces risk. By spreading your investments, you're not relying on the performance of a single asset. It's like having a safety net. Second, it can increase potential returns. While some assets may underperform, others may outperform, giving your portfolio a chance to grow even in turbulent times. Diversification isn't just about variety, though. It's about balance. It's about understanding your risk tolerance and investment goals, and then choosing a mix of assets that align with them. It's about not being swayed by market trends, but making informed decisions based on research and analysis. In the end, remember this. Diversification isn't a guarantee against loss. It's a strategy designed to manage risk and maximize returns. It's about playing the long game where patience and prudence often pay off. Diversification spreads the risk and increases potential returns. It's a classic strategy, time-tested and proven, and now you know why. Up next, we'll explore another strategy, dollar cost averaging. Stay tuned. What if there was a way to invest without trying to time the market? Well, there is, and it's called dollar cost averaging. This strategy is a method of reducing the impact of market volatility on large purchases of financial assets such as equities. Dollar cost averaging works by investing a fixed dollar amount in a particular investment on a regular schedule, regardless of the asset's price. 
more shares are purchased when prices are low and fewer shares are bought when prices are high. Over time, this approach can provide a lower average cost per share than buying a fixed number of shares at once. Imagine you're buying shares of a company. Instead of investing a lump sum at once, you decide to invest $100 every month. Some months the share price might be high so you'll get fewer shares. Other months the share price might drop, allowing you to purchase more shares with your $100. Over time, the average cost of your shares could be lower than if you invested all at once. One of the significant benefits of dollar cost averaging is that it takes the guesswork out of investing. You don't need to worry about investing at the right time or predicting market highs and lows. This strategy can be particularly beneficial during periods of market volatility, as it can help smooth out the effects of price fluctuations. Another advantage is that it encourages regular saving and investing. By committing to invest a certain amount regularly, you're setting yourself up for a disciplined approach to building wealth. It can make investing more manageable, especially for those new to the game. However, like any strategy, dollar cost averaging isn't foolproof. It doesn't guarantee profit or protect against loss in declining markets. And it involves continuous investment. So you should consider your ability to continue investing through periods of low price levels. Dollar cost averaging takes the stress out of investing. It's a strategy that encourages discipline, reduces the impact of market volatility, and can potentially lower the average cost of your shares. So, instead of trying to time the market, why not let time in the market work for you? What if your best strategy is to do nothing at all? Well, it might sound counterintuitive, but that's precisely the essence of our third investment strategy, buy and hold. Buy and hold is a long-term investment strategy based on the principle that in the long term, financial markets give a good rate of return despite periods of volatility or decline. In other words, it's about buying an investment, such as a stock or a mutual fund, and holding on to it for many years, regardless of fluctuations in the market. The beauty of this strategy lies in its simplicity. You don't need to be constantly monitoring the market or trying to time your buys and sells perfectly. All you need is patience. It's about resisting the temptation to react or overreact to the market's ups and downs. So why is this a preferred strategy of many successful investors? Well, there are a few key reasons. Firstly, history has shown us that despite short-term uncertainty, markets tend to rise over the long term. By holding on to investments for a longer period, investors can ride out market volatility and benefit from this upward trend. Secondly, it's cost-effective. Frequent trading can lead to higher transaction costs, which can eat into your returns. With buy and hold, you're minimizing these costs. Lastly, it's less stressful. Instead of constantly worrying about the perfect time to buy or sell, you can relax knowing you're invested for the long haul. But remember, patience plays a crucial role in this strategy. It's not about making quick profits, but about building wealth over time. It's for those who can resist the urge to meddle, who can stomach the market's roller coaster ride without jumping off. So whether you're new to investing or a seasoned pro, consider the buy and hold strategy. It's not flashy or exciting, but it's proven, and it works. Buy and hold is a testament to the power of patience in investing, because sometimes the best action is no action at all. So, we've discussed three powerful strategies today. Let's take a moment to revisit these vital concepts. Firstly, we dove into the intriguing world of diversification. As an investor, spreading your eggs across multiple baskets is key. This approach minimizes risk and allows for a safer investment journey. Different asset classes behave differently and when one falls, another may rise. That's the beauty of diversification. Next, we ventured into the realm of dollar cost averaging. This strategy is about consistency. By investing a fixed amount regularly, you buy more shares when prices are low and fewer when they're high. Over time, this can reduce the average cost per share, potentially leading to significant gains. Our third and final strategy was buy and hold. This is the marathon runner of investment strategies. It's all about playing the long game, holding onto your investments through market ups and downs. It's not about timing the market, but rather time in the market. This strategy requires patience but can yield substantial rewards in the long run. Investing is not just about making money, it's about securing your financial future. The strategies we've discussed today are tools to help you do just that. But remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach. 
It's essential to choose a strategy that aligns with your financial goals and risk tolerance. Remember, the best investment strategy is the one that works for you, so start investing today and watch your wealth grow.